What up, man? Once again, Gianni Cash. So my crazy story is, um, we were in Albuquerque, and uh, me, Rec, UB, and our light guy scenario, we went out to eat, and while we were eating, I got a phone call from my wife, and she's like, baby, my water broke. Obviously, my girl's pregnant. So first I'm like, child, oh shit, my firstborn. I'm like, oh shit, this shit is shit, you know, it's serious. So... I fucking Let me just throw in that he wasn't prepared. He had bought a ticket for the end of the month, and oh, he yeah. wasn't planning. Like she's, she wasn't due for another two weeks. That's like, right. So yeah, so it came two weeks earlier. So I'm like, oh shit, this is fucking serious. So I'm like, all right, guys, I gotta fucking bounce. So went went to the bus, grabbed my shit, took a cab to the airport, and basically I'm like, look, I need the fucking uh, uh, a ticket to the earliest. You know, uh, I need to get home. Er the fastest right way then. possible, yeah. like right away. So the only ticket was a a plane that, uh, a flight that was from Albuquerque to California and then from California to Miami, we're from Miami. So I'm like, fuck, are you fucking serious? And by the way, I missed a flight that I could have been there like in four hours by half an hour. That happened, yeah. I missed that flight. So long story short, I made it home at six o'clock in the morning and then three hours later I had my baby. Suntoro, I love you, yeah, so that's my story, man. Pretty fucking crazy, that's bro. Dope you made it home with a couple hours to spare. I, I made it home. Three hours later, I had my firstborn, and then I kind of chilled with them for like you know a few days, and then came back on tour and um, I made made it back on tour to to, to play Reno. That was pretty cool. Which was uh, props to DJ Picasso for Team Stone. Yes. In. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, you gotta talk Picasso, about that too. DJ Picasso's not around. He's probably in, in there, but he filled in for me. He I, I DJ and shit. He took over my spot. He did what I you know do, and he did a great job. And big big shout out to DJ Picasso. Um, DJ Picasso. He fucking killed the Team Stone. That's that's a uh, uh, Team Stone's DJ right there. Good old tour so, camaraderie. Yeah, man. You know finest. what I'm saying. We so that was we a crazy brothers. story, and um, and it and it was all you know positive. I made it back home to to, to witness the child, you know, to, to witness the the birth of my child, and that was great. You know, I didn't want to miss that. That was the biggest worry, missing the first, you know, the firstborn, bro. You know, I do have a crazy ass tour story. Oh, I believe I believe it was like we was like in. Either Tulsa, we were somewhere in o Oklahoma. We was in Tulsa or OKC. But uh, this one guy, you know what I'm saying, I vaguely know him, I know him because I go to, we go there at least twice a year. But we're in meet and greet, and you know what I'm saying, we're talking, you know what I'm saying, we're talking, he's asked me a bunch of questions. And then the dude was like, hey Stone, you wanna see my tongue ring? Now from a dude <laughs> asking another dude, do you wanna see my tongue ring? And I'm not, uh, I don't hide my emotions very well, you know, that's a thing that I don't do well. So when he did it, uh, he got a real, real reaction, you dig what I'm saying? To that guy, if you listen to this interview, no hard feelings, sorry if I rubbed you the wrong you way. Did, you beat him up like nah. what <laughs> But he definitely understood that that was not the thing to do to me and, don't ever, and do not ever do it again. So, to, to all the dudes, no other dude wants to see your tongue ring. <laughs> Stevie Stone. Something else. This is the Something Else Tour.